Um, these were different costumes people had and a selection of international snacks. We always like a bit of food, as you know. Okay, so you're going to go to the Students' Union later, but the Students' Union at British universities is a really essential element of it. But it's very diverse. I'm not going to talk too much about it now, but it's got facilities, it's got eating facilities, it's got bars, but it's also got, it's got an advice service and it's got elected officers, students who are there to campaign for student issues. And then they also manage lots of different student societies, opportunities for students to get involved in what they're interested in. Some are cultural societies, some are music societies, but you're going there later, so they'll be telling you a little bit more, I think, about what the Students' Union do. So we're very pleased as well to work in partnership with them. A lot of the campaigns we do, we do in partnership, and we're trying to plan together, so we're sort of reinforcing those key messages that we get out to students. So the community at Kiel is known as the Kiel Bubble. That's what it's frequently referred to by both students and staff. So it is a community, and as some of you have noticed when you've been walking along, there's great facilities here on campus for everybody. It does have a great community feel when there's more people here, which isn't what, what you're experiencing. This is a photo, actually, of our Welcome Festival. So this is the first weekend when students arrive, and it's got a marketplace and activities and things like that. Um, just a few snaps of Kiel there for you to see what it's like when the sun's shining. Okay, so yeah, these are the facilities. Again, you'll see these later, but we've got bookshop, chemists, um, the supermarket, the bank. I think everything you need really, which is why, as Ian said, some students don't actually leave the campus, so that's maybe not so good. We've also got um, a great nursery here on campus, and this is um, one of my colleagues from the Student Services Centre. So you've got this nursery for uh, a woman who already has kids? Yeah, nursery is like a creche, the childcare facilities. So people, staff who've got children can take their children there. Students can, but the students don't use it, unfortunately, as much as we'd like. Um, but yeah, it's a fantastic facility. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're, again, we're a campus, you know, and that's where it brings its challenges, but there is a need to build an infrastructure to support the workforce. And that's a relatively new nursery. It was, there's always been a nursery, but it was developed maybe three, two or three years ago now. So it's, it's a gorgeous place, yeah. I would say that, my two kids are in there now, so. <laughs> <laughs> my children went when it was the old nursery, yeah. but it was still a fantastic yeah. nursery. Yeah. Now, is it like that, that you, you, you still have a place for a child and yeah. then you take it every day? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you well, depending on what you, you, can. you can flex that, so yeah. So my you can also are. take like a couple of hours and. No, it would be half day sessions. Normally it is, yeah, they get a bit okay. annoyed if you sort of pop, <laughs> you pop along and start waving because it, it gets them a bit agitated. But yeah, mine are in, uh, mine are dropped up at eight in the morning and picked up at six in the evening. <laughs> but you can yeah. fit it around your yeah, shift, okay. you yeah. know, so if you were part time yeah. or you had someone else to care for the yeah. children. There's a lot of kids time. who are in there for one day a week, two yeah. days a week, yeah. you know, Tuesday or Thursday to suit. And actually increasingly a lot of, because it's a very good nursery, 50% um, I think are from the wider community. So they drive up on society, use the facility. Okay. Because we have also a nursery. It's uh, because normally all the Phoenix kids go to kindergarten. So this yeah. is only for students, kids, and you book it online for like you can book. I yeah. have lectures for four yeah. on Monday, four hours, and then you book it for four hours I, on Monday, and I, then you pick them up. It's, it's exactly, I think, what we would like, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, and are pushing them to try and think through in terms of how that would work. It's more of a kind of here of all the crash facility. Yeah. That we we have in a number of you know if I go to the gym for instance there's a yeah. facility where I can place the child for two two yeah. hours so but we don't have that flexibility which is unfortunate. Yeah. It is. Well, we'll keep pushing, yeah. working together. More shots of Kiel campus. We're very proud of our campus. We do have a regular market that comes up, and this is a shot from in the students' union again facilities, and that's in the chancellor's building where we were this morning. So going back to community, so yeah, I said to you, we've got this bubble, but we want everybody to feel part of this bubble, and that's why it's important to work with international students, to work with students with disabilities, 
we do a lot of focus groups and talking to students to find out what the issues are and Yiwei is doing a particular project focusing on that with Chinese students which is great. So we listen to the students and then we try to see what we can do to address things. We can't address everything but you know we like to be aware of what the challenges are so we can work towards them. So Gaydelia was one of our volunteers and she also worked with us in the resident support team and this is what she's saying. She enjoyed what she did because she felt good she was helping others she was getting involved and you know i think that's a really positive message about why volunteering is so positive so we obviously nicked that quote off there and we put that out on social media and we're using that to get that message out to other students and i think it's really important as well to recognize how much the student voice counts if we said a message, yeah, get involved, volunteering is excellent, they'll just say, oh, yeah, student services. But hearing it from another student, that really strengthens that message. So, again, we're encouraging them to work with us to help promote sort of key things. Another very positive message from one of our students, again, talking about the bubble, talking about how what a good experience she's had. So it's nice, I think, to see what, what the students are saying. We haven't faked this. This is a genuine quotation from one of our students. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. Not everyone has that positive experience, but I'm not sure if we're quite at that side. Yes, yes. We are very proud to announce that Kiel is number one for student satisfaction. So there is a, sat a survey that's done across all universities analysing student satisfaction. And for two years, we have been top, so we do like to share that good news with everyone. But I do think it does illustrate how much we do, how much we can offer, and how much the students get out of, uh, out of the Kiel experience. So I think that's it for me. Yes. Oh, yeah. But of course, that's the main aim. We want all students to get to the end, to be successful, and to graduate. Um, and by working with all these different dimensions, we're sort of focusing on that goal. Is that okay? Is there anything anyone would like to ask about what I've whizzed through there? I mean, we're all together for the week, so anything that comes in mind. And like I say, we'll be developing a lot more on some of these things. Okay, right, we're going to go over to you again now. So I'd like to th you to think about what's happening in your countries, what's happening for you, what are the big issues, personally, your institution and your country, and you might want to think about maybe some of the challenges, because we've got challenges. So if you just take a few minutes, we haven't, we're not going to do it in groups, we'll do it individually, and then we'll just share your ideas on the board there. So just one or two minutes to think about your priorities, your challenges, you, your institution, and your country. <coughs> 